In today's video, we'll be doing a review of Linguix. So Linguix is an AI writing platform that allows you to write better content. So essentially to use Linguix, you would go ahead and paste your content. So whether you're writing a blog post, you're writing a sales page, or any sort of marketing content, you can go ahead and paste that um, in their grammar checker, and they'll give you a list of recommendations and improvements that you need to make to improve the overall quality of that content. So let's go ahead and do an in-depth review of this tool and see how it compares to other AI correction tools in the market. If you like this tool and want to go ahead and grab a plan, I highly recommend getting the lifetime deal. Currently, it's $69 for the lifetime deal for this tool. That includes unlimited grammar checker, unlimited premium suggestions, unlimited word definitions, the rewriter shortcuts, and a lot of other really cool features. For most use cases, you'll be good to go ahead with the single plan, but if you needed to upgrade and add more team members, you can always go ahead and get the double or the multiple plans. If you wanna go ahead and grab the lifetime deal, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. And once you have a plan, this is what your dashboard will look like. So it's very easy to use. Essentially, all you have to do is go ahead and just paste the content in which you like to improve on this editor. So for instance, let's say I wanted to go ahead and improve the content on my blog post. I just go ahead and copy whichever uh, part of that blog post in which I like to improve. So let's say we wanna go ahead and just improve the intro paragraph here for this blog post. Just go ahead and copy that content. Head over back to Linguix and go ahead and paste that content in here. So for this specific paragraph, we just have a couple issues here with the grammar. So this word needs to have a hyphen. Um, topic needs to have a comma. And once you go ahead and click on the actual um, issues, I like that it goes ahead and it actually fixes those issues automatically. So you don't actually have to go in and do anything. All you have to do is click on that um, issue and it will make the changes for you. And if you look on the right hand side, you'll also be able to see a readability score. So this is going to tell you how readable your content is. So the current readability score of this specific paragraph is 57. So this is a nice um, sort of metric for you to take a look at to see how readable your content is. And obviously you want to go ahead and try to improve this to as close to 100 as possible. It would be nice if they gave you some recommendations in which you needed to follow if you wanted to increase your readability score, but it seems as though they're just sort of giving you that number. And if you head over to settings here, which is the third tab, you'd be able to customize your writing so that you can get the best recommendations from this tool. The first thing that you want to choose is the language in which you prefer to write in. So you can choose the type of English in which you're writing uh, based upon the area in which you're living in or for the demographic in which you're writing for. And you can also go ahead and choose what your native language is. So this is pretty cool because you can go ahead and select um, where you're from and this will allow the AI to be able to detect any um, issues that you may be having within your content based upon your native language and help you improve your grammar and your writing. So that's a cool feature that's included. And you also want to personalize and select what you mostly write your content around. You can choose between business, education, and family or friends. So I'm going to go ahead and choose business and you can also go ahead and select your English level. So this is just giving the AI some information about how or the level of writing which you're at at the moment. So it allows you to get better recommendations just based upon your specific writing. So once you're happy with this, go ahead and click save. If you wanted to rewrite your content or improve an existing sentence that you have, just go ahead and highlight that sentence and click the pencil button and the AI will give you some recommendations of alternative ways in which you can write that content. So for instance, the original sentence is the first way to determine search intent when writing a blog post is by looking at the words in the headline. So the first suggestion which we get back from this AI is that you should look at the words in the headline before writing a blog post. So the first output sort of just summarizes the sentence in a very short manner. So we get some recommendations of ways in which you can rewrite that sentence. So again, just go ahead and highlight that sentence, go ahead and click the pencil. And as you can see, again, we get some other suggestions and ways in which we can rewrite that content. So you can use this as a rewriter, or you can also use it as a way in which you can get more content ideas for a blog post. So if you want to go ahead and add some more sentences, this may give you ideas of um, things in which you can add on to a paragraph. So pretty cool feature included in this tool. And again, if you go ahead and get the lifetime deal, then you get unlimited rewrites um, for a one-time payment of $69. Also included in Linguix is the ability to create shortcuts. So this is a pretty cool feature um, that's included in the tool for free. So this is another pretty cool and useful feature included in this tool. Essentially, it allows you to create a shortcut for repetitive tasks that you may be doing in your business. So when creating a shortcut, you have two options. You can create a new custom shortcut or you can add one from 
a library. So these are some of the most popular shortcuts. You have the introduction, the cold email, the scheduling a call at work, the job letter offer, or the LinkedIn intro. So in order to use a shortcut, just go ahead and click on that specific um, shortcut. And you'd be able to see a snapshot of that shortcut. Now you wanna go ahead and click copy to my shortcuts and edit. And this will allow you to customize your shortcuts to your liking. And once you're happy with the actual shortcut, just go ahead and assign a name. So for this, we'll do intro. So that shortcut has now been created. If you wanted to go ahead and use that shortcut, just head over to any place in which you'd be writing content. And when you're writing your content, instead of having to repeat a specific task or a specific intro, just go ahead and hit double slash and you'll be able to see the shortcuts in which you created, but also you'd be able to see some of the preset shortcuts from linguists. So just go ahead and hit any of the shortcut in which you want to use and you'd be able to see that um, on the content which you're writing. And again, if you wanted to go ahead and check out some other shortcuts, just go ahead and hit double slash. So this will save you a lot of time, especially if you're prospecting or if you're outreaching or if you're sending the same email to multiple different people. And again, you have a bunch of different shortcuts in which you can choose from, or you can go ahead and create a custom shortcut. So very cool feature included there by Linguix. And if you wanted to set up any specific rules, just head over to rules. And in this section, this is where you'd be able to go ahead and add any words that you may use within your writing that you don't want to be flagged as misspelling. So if you use any slang or any word that's specific to your industry that may not be well known in the dictionary, then you can go ahead and just add that so that you don't have to constantly fix that when you're creating your content. And if you wanted to, you can go ahead and download the Linguix app. So they have an app for Chrome, for Firefox, for Google Docs, for Safari, for Edge, for Microsoft Word, and for Outlook. And I also recommend that if you get this tool, you go ahead and add it to your Chrome extensions. And another feature that I forgot to mention is if you wanted to get the definition of any word within your content, you can go ahead and double click on that word and you'd be able to see the synonyms for that word and you'd also be able to see the definition of that word. So if you just wanna double check to make sure you're using a word in the right way, then just go ahead and click on that specific word. So for instance, for a tradition, we get the definition and we also get some synonyms in which we can use instead of tradition, such as culture, custom rituals, um, opinion, attitude, or belief, and so on. Overall, I think Linguix is a very good tool. If you don't have access to Grammarly, and if you don't want to pay monthly for an AI correction tool, then this would be a great option. In terms of features, I don't really think there's anything major that separates Linguix from other AI correction tools like Grammarly. But again, if you're looking at just strictly pricing and the features that are included, I do think that it is a good deal. I like how easy this tool is to use. Even if you're a beginner, it's really easy to pick up how to improve your content using this tool. I also really like the shortcut feature, which allows you to create shortcuts for repetitive tasks in your business. It would be nice if they had some more features included in their editor, and also if they had some more SEO focused features that will allow you to uh, get recommendations based upon a specific topic. So if you wanted to go ahead and grab Linguix, I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal below this video. I hope that you learned something new and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.